Hey guys, I'm Mark, Crypto Boy in Oz. It's the 19th of September. It's Sunday, it's a beautiful day. The weather's perfect. It's blue sky, 24 degrees C. Um, crypto, on the other hand, is not really doing a lot. It's probably one of these weekends where you just want to leave it alone um, and just perhaps check it just a few times instead of probably every hour, as most people that are into crypto live on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. Um, so I thought I'd do a video today on something that I'm specifically looking at doing right now. And I've realized I get a lot of people tuning in, watching tutorials on how to do certain things. And I've found it better for myself to actually just record my process as I'm doing it. Um, so it's like a live tutorial, if you will. And hopefully this will help a lot of people out. So this specific video is all relating to one specific um, coin. First off, just want to acknowledge you've got a few extra subs. Um, thank you if that's you. Really appreciate you. Hope you get um, good, good, good. Um, enjoy the content from what I produce and a bit of entertainment as well in there. So, yeah, so the video is relating to Oaken Finance. Now, if you're watching this, presumably you've already got it and you're staking it um, in order to get whitelisted or get the potential to get whitelisted for IDOs. Now, if, you, if you've been taking note of like the Medium articles or the Twitter, you'll know that like six weeks ago, they announced that they're releasing a new coin, which is OCX, which is the Okamex coin. And there's a few different ways to get it. The main one is through staking your Okam, um token. Um, through the OCC app in the Razor like website, which is what you'd be doing if you're staking to get uh, whitelist whitelisted for IDOs. Um, that'll get you the OCX token, but there's a way to get extra OCX tokens. And presumably, if you if you're invested in Oaken Finance, I probably hazard a guess that you've got some Cardano tokens as well. So if you are, this is for you. So if you've got if you've, you, you, you can you can get the OCX token via staking, as I've just described, through, through providing liquidity between OC, o, the Orkham Finance token and Ethereum. Uh, holding OCC ADA, you can purchase OCC to ADA on Bitrue. But the video I'm going to be doing today is staking ADA for the Orkham Finance Cardano state pool, which will in turn will get you OCX tokens. So it's just a way of getting extra um, tokens via staking your Cardano. Now, you might be staking your Cardano already through like a um, centralized exchange like with X, like um, different different uh, exchanges out there or I think Exodus, which is a like a private wallet, you can stake through them and it's pretty straightforward. This, this process is a little bit more complex because it's like totally decentralized where you're staking in exchange for getting OCX tokens. So first off, You've got to download a wallet where you can actually delegate and state your tokens. So I'd recommend Uroi, Y-O-R-O-I. So you go to the website, uroi-wallet.com, and then click on download, choose your um, poison of choice. Mine's Chrome. Uh, I'll just add that to add the extension up top. There it is. So there's the extension. I'll just click the jig, click the jigsaw, pin it so I can see it. And then it's just a case of creating creating a new wallet if you've not 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 already got one. So obviously, whatever language you are, agree with the T's and C's. Um, the payment I'm not interested in, so I'm just going to skip it because I'll never use it. And then create a wallet, and then choose Cardano for the platform. Create wallet. Wallet name, I'm just going to call mine Ada Orkham, just so I know specifically what this wallet is doing. And then just create a password. And now I'm just going to pause the screen because I've just got to create a seed. Well, I'm just going to write down the seed phrase.
right, when you've uh, wrote down your recovery phrase, then you'll get with this. Then you'll get this screen. You'll have to confirm the recovery phrase and in order, whichever, however you've wrote it down. Then just tick the box saying you understand that your secret keys are held securely on this device, so they're not on any. They're not anywhere else. And you understand that this application is moved to another device or deleted. My money can only be recovered with the backup phrase that I have written down. So the importance of your, your phrase, which I've got here, is absolutely critical. It's like having a key to a bank vault, and if you lose that key, it's gone forever. You can never hack it, or having a PIN number on your card, and if you lose your PIN, then anything that's in, the, in your account is completely useless. There's no way, 100%, there is no way of ever recovering what is on that wallet so if you lose the keys you lose whatever you've whatever um whatever you've got stored on that wallet so just make sure you understand that and the responsibility that finish that, that like is bestowed on you for keeping it safe so when you've done that click confirm and then you'll come to this screen where all your um your wallet is kind of open up to so your dashboard transactions. You can send, receive, you've got voting rights, delegation list. So what you want to do now is send your Cardano from where, wherever you've got it over to this wallet. So I'm presuming you know how to send and receive funds. So you click on the receive tab and then you've got this QR code or you've got your wallet address. So share this wallet address to receive payments. To protect privacy, new addresses are generated automatically once you use them. So basically click this copy to clipboard. So that's got your address copied. Now go to whichever uh, platform or wallet you've got your Cardano stored and then click on send and put in this, put in this address. I'm just going to do this now. So as you can see here, this is my um, wallet. So I'm using actual Giro wallet. And as, as I mentioned, just in case of putting your address in, put in the amount that you want to send, and then click send. So just asking you to confirm. So obviously make sure that what you're doing is right. And the fee for sending it is 0.23 Cardano, which is 57 cents. Just confirm that the address is correct. So you look at it, you can match it up. 1QXN, 1QXN, and then it ends in um, ZZJ31, ZZJ3, well, J3L. So you know that's spot on. Click confirm. And then it's asking you for the password, which it should do on yours as well, just to make sure. And that should be it. You could I know I should have sent. So I'm just going to check that now. There we go. So if you look at my balance, my balance in the wallet now is zero. And then if we go down here um, to my Uroy wallet, and I've got 235 Cardano. So that's that done. And next, ne the next thing we need to do is go to delegation list. And then we need to search. So if we just go back here to the Medium um, article that I found on, on how you get the OCX distribution. So if I click here, so this is the OCC, Ockham Finance, um, Ada Pools, and it's telling you what the actual pool is called. So now we know what it's called. We just come back over here and type in Ockham. And here we are. So we've got the Ockham Finance. I'm just going to click on this delegate. So all, basically all you do now, um, you've got the amount, what you can stake. So it says you can only delegate to one stake pool at a time. 
You can switch to delegate to a different state pool at any time and you can cancel your delegation at any time. So you're not locked in. Like this isn't a permanent thing. It's not something that you've tied yourself into for a set number of weeks, months, years. You can come out of this whenever you like. Um, so the amount here, which has come up as 8232.825, which is basically minus the, uh, the fee, which is going to be... Um, put in for the transaction and the current approximation of rewards that you will receive each epoch is 0.16 ADA but this is not the reason why we're doing this the reason why we're doing this is to get the OCX token that's the main the main reason why we're doing this so put the so you need to put the password in um, which you've previously set up And then just click delegate. So it's successfully delegated. So track the status of the state pool and the amount of time remaining to receive a reward from the dashboard page. So we'll click on that. And it's got the total ADA, 235 total rewards, which are due to protocol update. The rewards are being recalculated. And there we go. Total delegated, 232 ADA. So now we've staked, you can see down here that you've got um, the the epochs, which are pretty much pretty much every five days. So looking on here, upcoming rewards, the 8th of October, 13th of October, 18th, and then the 23rd. I don't know where the um, the next the next epochs are from now till the 8th of October, but and I think the rewards, what we'll get, will be showing up here when it's actually been in there for probably a few days. But I said, but the reason why we're doing it is not to generate Cardano, even though you will accumulate, depending on how many um, Cardano you stake, you will accumulate Cardano. But the main purpose of this is to accumulate the OCX token. Now, while I'm, while I'm talking about the OCX token, um, there is different ways to claim it and so one of the other ways what i was talking about is people some people have actually um staked through the launch pad they've, they've used the bridge so they've clicked on here and they've gone over from the occ on erc20 to or see to open finance on the cardano blockchain so Currently, like I'm still over on the Ethereum. I've not changed anything over, but for the, for the people that have basically moved it across from the original to the well to the existing uh, token, which is like on the Ethereum, th that have moved it over to Cardano, which is where we're all going to move it to eventually. The people that have done this, they're entitled to um, accumulate OCX tokens as well. So that's one that's one of the other ways of getting it. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of a couple of uh, topics now. The highest yielding way to get OCX is actually do is is providing liquidity. So, as it says here, um, not all OCX distribution mechanisms are created equally, and the reason for this is because if you provide liquidity to the or can finance Ethereum pool on Uniswap by uh, staking liquidity tokens. The rewards are actually more, and it says here at least three times greater leverage per OCC than other methods. And the, the reason for this is you can get impermeable loss. So you can actually lose out on the, on the token value because obviously, well, if you don't know, if, you, if you're doing liquidity staking, the balance between Ethereum and the Orkham Finance has to be equal. So if one of the one of them goes up more than the other, then a, a portion of that is sold to then balance out. So it could reduce the the total amount that you've got. So the reason why they give you three times more is to cover yourself in case that does happen. So if you want to generate more yield and get the get more chance of receiving more OCX token, then providing liquidity, uh, which means you've got to buy the same amount 
the same value of Ethereum and Orkin Finance tokens. Uh, so if you want to stake like a thousand dollars worth of each, then you need a thousand dollars worth of Ethereum and a thousand dollars worth of Orkin Finance. But again, there is there is more risk with that with the perm, perm, um, with the impermeable loss. So it's not something I to be honest, I like to do. I've, I've done it once before and I actually lost out. I, I was staking uh, Define Network with Luna and when Luna was $5 and Luna ended up going over like $35. So it kept selling off my Luna and giving me more, giving me more Define, but Define has just been going down in value. It's only like 59 cents now. Uh, I, should, I would have been much better off sticking with the... Um, Luna tokens. So from that point forward, I haven't done any more um, liquidity liquidity staking. So I hope this I hope this video has really helped, and I hope that um, showing you how to um, delegate and state your ADA on the uh, Orkin Finance uh, pool has been really straightforward. Because when I first looked at it, and it sh and it took me to it took me to this adapools.org and I'm thinking, well, what the hell is this? Because this is the link which it shows you to go to when you're on the when you're on the um, medium page for Orkin Finance. But this is just giving you the details of the of the pool. But this is not where you do the pool. This is not where you do the pool from. So by using the UI wallet, this is really really straightforward. And now you can see. Um, where well, you've got it staked, it says it right up here. You don't need to do anything. Like there's nothing that you need to do. It's just something that will happen and Orkin Finance will announce when the OCX token is being being released. And once that happens, that'll just appear in the wallet that you've, that you've sent it to. So in my case, um, that should be this wallet here, which is my UI wallet. So I should notice that when I go to... Um, Back to your wallets, and here you've got the. Oh, this is my wallet, Ada Orkham. And you, sh I should find that it's also got the OCX token in there, but that's going to be coming in due course. So if you've liked the video, hopefully it's been simple enough for you. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if there's any um, topics, subjects that you want to, what you want me to cover please let me know and I can create new videos. Remember, there's um, what I always say is invest well in everything that you that you invest in. Don't st stay clear of like complete scam coins. I don't want anyone getting hurt. It's the worst feeling in the world. So invest well. And remember, there's a crypto boy in every single one of you, even you women out there.